Hi there, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and or Venus. This is Abby with Rogue Pisces Tarot, and I'm here to give you your daily reading. Now, I had a little bit of a different idea. I was thinking that I could always try and pull um, different piles for the Pisces Collective because there's so many of us. There's so many of us out there. Um, so if you would like to intuitively pick a pile, um, it's going to be the same spread that I usually use, the six positions. So today's energy, today's theme, the challenge, the, um, what do you call that, suggested course, our wrapping up our past energy, and then our key to our future energy. Um, so I've already picked each of those cards in order, and I've picked each of the clarifiers in order. I haven't looked at any of them. I've also kept the decks close by. Um, because I haven't looked at the bottom of the decks to see what any of the subconscious or underlying energies are. So, um, if you like the, this kind of reading, please make sure that you show me by thumbs up, by comments, um, um, by views, by shares, that kind of thing. So I'll know that this is something that you'd like to do if you want more, uh, a chance at a more personalized daily read. So I'm going to give you a few seconds, pause the video also if you want to, try to intuitively pick which pile that feels right for you. Pile number one is uh, with the Amethyst Cluster, and this one is the Star Spinner Tarot with um, Clarified by the Light Seers Tarot. Then the second pile is Clear Quartz, that is the um, Radiant White. Radiant Rider, sorry, uh, clarified with the um, Gilded Tarot Royale. Or I'm sorry, this one is the Modern Witch Tarot. That's is the main deck. The last one is the um, Orange Calcite, and this is sorry, the Star Spinner Tarot, and it's clarified by the Everyday Tarot. So take a moment. I will put timestamps in the description and in the first comment. I'll pin it for you. Um, so then that, and I'll also add chapters to the description, so you should be able to just hover your mouse at the bottom of the screen, and it should tell you which pile. So, take a moment, tune in, pick a pile, you can watch one, watch them all, do whatever you like, okay? And I will see you right back here for the rest of the read. Hi there, pile one, you chose our amethyst cluster. Let's see what the cards have for the Pisces Collective who chose pile number one. So in today's energy, we have Queen of Pentacles. Today's theme, we have Nine of Wands. So we have Earth energy and Fire energy so far. Today's challenge for this group is Temperance, Sagittarius energy. And suggested course is Judgment. I believe a Scorpio, but don't quote me on it. In moving past yesterday's energy, we have the Six of Swords. And moving into tomorrow's energy, we have the Eight of Swords. Okay. The Queen of Pentacles is this really beautiful, abundant, motherly, nurturing energy. And I'm feeling, let's see, yes, okay. Clarified by the Three of Pentacles. So this has to do a lot with nurturing relationships, um, collaboration, and finding people that you want to work with, um, with something. looks very much like there's something in the work, something that you, you're spending a lot of time and energy focusing on and focusing your, your ideas on something that you want. This is all pentacles energy, right? So we're talking about bringing something into the 3D. So it could have to do with a work collaboration or it could have to do with bringing a relationship from sort of um, the, the talking, getting to know you phase into something more grounded in the, in the real world. Okay, clarifying the Nine of Wands, our wounded warrior. Okay, fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some defensiveness, right? And that's being clarified by Seven of Cups, which is water sign energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. 
So this is telling me that some of you may be experiencing some kind of world weariness. It could have been a lot of a lot of tries, a lot of false starts, a lot of contemplation and trying to get to this place. And now there's all of these experiences, all of these passion projects behind you, whether those are with people, whether it has to do with um, business or like maybe little home businesses or blogs or things, who knows what you've started. And Seven of Cups is, you know, just take a look at this dude. He's sitting here going like, I don't really know which one I wanna pick. I, I wanna pick the best one, but I'm not really sure which one is going to be the best one. Okay. So the theme for today is trying to narrow it down because there's this energy of wanting to come down and work on it, um, but there being sort of a, a carryover of this sort of indecisive energy and defensiveness based on sort of like past, uh, past experiences. Now, whether those experiences were um, not successful or, or successful, I don't know. You're going to know sometimes. Most of the time it's a mix, right? Um, but there is something here about the indecision affecting things for you. We then have temperance, which is Sagittarius energy, being clarified by the five of wands, which is fire sign energy. And this is... Oh, oh Pisces. <laughs> this is just telling me that like patience has been a real struggle. Um, whatever it is that you're trying to bring about, it has like there's a good, um, there's a solid foundation behind it. And there is a lot of forethought and a lot of research probably that has gone into it. Because this is all sort of in Pentacles land. Like this, um, this stuff hanging out here is in Pentacles land. So this is all stuff in the 3D. So you've probably been doing a lot of market research or you've um, maybe even been working on things like your relationships. You've been working on practical things about maybe assessing how you deal with things or trying to learn the best way to deal with a specific person. Um, and the temperance card is all about trying to mix, trying to mix. Um, it could be different interests, different fields, different partners. Um, you could come from different worlds. There could be people around you who are um, could be a highly competitive field if we're talking about work and trying to find some balance in there for yourself where you feel more grounded in it. And um, because this is all about standing out, okay? These people are all trying to kind of catch the golden snitch up here and they're all, you know, trying to get to the top of the pile, um, playing kind of king of the hill there. So my feeling is that it's been really difficult to find balance between your creative energy, your ambitious energy, and then um, like your passions and in whatever way that this is affecting you. Okay, then we have the Justice card, which is being clarified by King of Pentacles. Now let's not... Um, let us not ignore that we have a king of pentacles and a queen of pentacles okay so for some of you this may have something to do with a relationship or a partner someone that you're with this is a lot of earth sign energy okay already that we have as far as these positions uh judgment having to do with some divine timing um wanting to resurrect something being in a feeling of knowing that there is going to be something new just around the corner and having faith that you'll be able to sort of rise again into this into this new life cycle. This is card, um, judgment is number 20, right? XX. The end of the karmic cycle is 21. And then we start back at zero and you have the king of pentacles. So you have a someone who is incredibly good with their money, um, someone who is solid, who is dependable, and very loyal, right? We have like, I like how they have sort of like this wolfhound here with the king and 
to sort of symbolize the gentleness and the fertility, we have the, the rabbit with the queen. Mm. You could be very um, experienced an attraction to someone that you are working with or that you are trying to start some kind of partnership with as far as business goes. So as far as air, like earth sign energy, we're talking um, Taurus, Cap, and Virgo. There could also be an age difference, a little bit of an age difference. Now, for those of you where this is not speaking to um, any kind of romantic relationship, situationship, or entanglement, say, um, Queen of Pentacles and then moving from your suggested course into this sort of edge of this, you know, understanding this hope, right? Kind of rising up out of the grave. It's all the, these people down here at the bottom who are going to be starting a brand new existence. And the King of Pentacles clarifying that to me looks like an ascension in your energy. So taking it sort of like that one step further, um, seeing yourself as someone who, like this strikes me as someone who is like a CEO, someone who is a boss, um, which isn't to say the queen isn't a boss, um, but often kings run, um, they at least run empires uh, as figureheads. Queens tend to be more the power behind the throne. So it looks like right now you're running so much of the business and like you've got your, um, you've got your hands in all of it, trying to make it all work and come together. Once you kind of get up to this level, you have more people to do the work for you. Um, so I think it's, this is telling you to see yourself in this kind of role, see yourself moving up, uh, understand your vision of what you're trying to bring about because it's, you also like, judgment is a major arcana card and temperance. So your challenge with patience has been, a, it's been a big deal. This may have taken quite a while. You may have had a lot of false starts. Um, and it's starting to come together, but it's like still carrying with you those things from the past and the indecision. It could be your indecision. It could be other people's indecision. Maybe you've been plagued by people who, um, say that they want to link up with you, but then never follow through. Or maybe it's been, um, thing to do with trying to find the right, the right company to manufacture a product or the right sort of um, website design that's going to help put you on the map. Or, you know, there's been um, people who are, if this is a romantic thing, uh, maybe you've dealt with, you've kissed a lot of frogs, you know, <laughs> like people who seemed good and presented themselves as a good option, um, but then didn't follow through. We then have six of swords in our key to wrapping up our past um, energy, and that's being clarified by the Ace of Wands. So, like, Six of Swords is all about moving on into calmer waters, understanding and having faith that what you are taking with you is going to serve you in the future. So, swords in this case represent life experiences. And now you're taking all of these experiences with you to, to build on this passionate new beginning. And there's something here. Um, understanding that you are, there is some sort of passionate new beginning. Now that could be an inspiration as far as work and business for you. Um, as far as maybe an investment even that you're looking at that's kind of getting you fired up. Um, if you're thinking about how you manage your money. That could also be, if this is calling to you as far as a relationship goes, then there's a lot of potential for passion here. We do have sort of natural counterparts, people who complement each other very well. And moving on doesn't necessarily mean moving on from this situation or person. I'm not so much getting that. And I mean, it may be for some of you because, I mean, there's lots of you out there, so who knows? But... Um, my feeling is that this passion that's being offered is something that you are moving towards, right? Like this is, this is calling to me in a way where the six of swords, 
let me hold it like this. So the Six of Swords is like taking all those life experiences and moving towards this new opportunity for something passionate and inspiring. Um, and this is something that really lights your fire, like lights your fire deep down in your gut where you're just like, this is exciting. Um, whether this is a person or a project, whatever it is, um, could be spiritual wands, can also be spiritual. You could be experiencing something on that end. But that's like, this is something that really excites you in a way that just makes you want to move on from the stuff that you had before, you know? Okay, that's cool, fine, we'll leave it in the past. Um, this could be also literal travel, you may have to move, or there could be some sort of traveling that you would have to do, even if it's just like going into a part of the town that you live in that you would usually never have to go, you would never want to go to, something kind of inconvenient, but you would cross that distance to make something work here. Okay, then we have um, Eight of Swords being clarified by the Five of Pentacles in your key to tomorrow position. All right. So what this is telling me for this group of Pisces is that there's too much kind of going on in the headspace, okay? And all of this thinking... All of this sort of, you know, sitting here being surrounded by your thoughts and not making a solid move, this contemplation, it's making it appear as though you're stuck. Um, as if there's maybe, you know, something else that you should know, you don't know, there's, you're, you're surrounded by um, uncertainties and whatever that is. And that's leading to this sense of being left out in the cold with the five of pentacles. But the thing with the five of pentacles is that yes, this figure is sitting here left out sort of, you know, by themselves. If you only look at the bottom of this, of the card, then yeah, sure. That's true. But there's this key. If you can see that sitting there up against the door of the five of pentacles and the lock is there now it might be a little tall it might be a little difficult for her to reach um but there's you know if she's to lift her head up and go through that door she will find comfort she will find a place to be she will find a place to belong and the solutions will then be in front of them so i think what this is trying to tell us as far as um guidance for this group of Pisces is that you know try not to overthink things you just you might not realize how simple the solution is because um, this here like this is someone who believes that the problems are vast and never-ending and doesn't really know which way to go I'll just stand perfectly still and hopefully nothing will get worse and at least that way I won't break anything right <laughs> um this person doesn't realize that the solution is right there. So I feel like this is a guidance to the solution to whatever you are trying to fix is probably a lot easier than you think. But just to come out of the headspace, out of the clouds, out of the thoughts, and try to bring it down to earth. Okay. Because there's a lot of good potential here. You're sitting pretty. Queen of Pentacles energy is a beautiful energy to be in, right? That's someone who is generous and nurturing, giving, solid. It's really good. Okay, so now I'm going to shuffle and I'm going to pull for... I'm going to pull for each group, so the only card that might repeat is this deck, okay? So this is the Wisdom of the Oracle. One card, please, for this group of Pisces. One card, please, for this group of Pisces. Mm, we got two. Okay. And I feel like they both kind of ring. They ring for me. I like them. They feel like they're in tune. Okay, hold on just a second. Okay, Pisces, I just went to go grab my guidebook. Let's see if I'll... 
hold it here like this. All right. So this one is poised. Uh, the essential meanings are being ready, bringing something to light, being at your best and confidence. You can be assured that you are ready for anything right now. You know what you need to do. Your skills are sharp. You've come to this place armed with wisdom and knowledge, and you sense a new phase of your life about to begin. People respond to your confidence and trust you. This is an auspicious time to begin new things. The relationship message is when you're confident and happy in your own skin, you are ready for deeper, more intimate relationships. You have nothing to prove right now. You are completely yourself and can handle anything. Love, friendships, and harmonious new connections are all present now or are coming in. You're ready to give and receive from the heart. This is a beautiful place to be. Okay. Your prosperity message says, you have every reason to feel confident. Everything you need to make your success concrete is now at your disposal. You can take action knowing you are ready to step into your power, into your light, and into your service to the world. The direction you're moving in is your destiny. The direction you're moving in is your destiny. Your soul is smiling with joy as you align with this truth. See? Just sitting here like a queen, getting all your sort of collaborations and partnerships going. And then, yeah, patience is hard. Yeah, there's competition, sure. Maybe there's some internal conflict as well. But moving on up, moving on up. I'm feeling that very strongly for this particular read. Whichever area of your life this is ringing for, it's moving on up. Okay, and then we also got 41. So let me find a little place to rest my hand while I... Okay. So the essential meanings are harmonious partnerships, love, friendship, companionship, a relationship fostering personal growth. So you are meant to evolve and transform with the companionship of others. Certain people enter into your life in order to take you to the next level of healing, consciousness, and authenticity. It is always a reciprocal experience, although the results for each of you will vary. You will know these people by the strong pull drawing you towards them, and sometimes by a strong aversion to them initially, too. Soulmates can be friends for life or remain in your life for only a short time. No matter what, you will be changed in ways you can't possibly fathom now. Pay attention to these people today. They are your greatest gifts. The relationship message says, consider love in the deepest sense, love so powerful that you will never be the same, regardless of how long your relationship lasts. Consider friendships and romantic bonds so compelling that they overwhelm you with gratitude or break you open so you will finally claim who you were meant to be. Even a companion animal reminds you that it is you who is being rescued and healed. Pay attention, for you are in the presence of a soulmate. Come to guide you home to the real you. The prosperity message is strategic alliances are most important right now as you begin to attract the perfect people to support your dreams. This is a journey you will share with others, mentors, business partners, helpers, employees, creative partners, friends, and strangers open doors for you and step through the portal to join you in a harmonic dance of collaboration, commitment, and co-creation. This is what you've been waiting for. Very nice, Pisces Group One. I hope you liked it. Uh, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing, giving me a comment. Uh, liking and comments especially is how I'm going to try to judge if you like the format of this reading. Uh, please let me know because if you like it, I'm open to doing it. Um, love and light. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now. Hold up just a minute. I forgot to show you. There's three of pentacles at the bottom of the main deck, right? So all about that collaboration again. Uh, teamwork collaboration and coming together and at the bottom of the clarifying deck we have ace of cups right so some sort of emotional offer some sort of offer that brings emotional fulfillment and um, sort of overarching the whole reading really beautiful energy pisces okay see you next time bye now hi there pisces group two you chose pile number two which was the clear quartz 
All right, so let's get started. So in today's energy, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Today's theme, we have Five of Wands. So fire sign energy and earth sign energy. In today's challenge, we have the Nine of Wands. Again, fire sign energy. Suggested course, we have the star, which is Aquarius energy. In our wrapping up yesterday, we have the Ten of Swords, which is air sign energy. And then key to tomorrow is Six of Swords, again, air sign energy. Okay. So what I'm getting from just an initial look at this is you seem to be carrying yourself with a lot of confidence. And if you aren't already, you're being called to. Uh, it appears that there's, you could be focusing on sort of your material wealth and stability. This is someone who is a self-assured single person, okay? They are not in need of a partnership because they lack. They would like a partnership, if this is about partnership, because they think it might enhance their life. It might be nice. They could do it if they wanted to, if the right person is around. In business, this is someone who's a self-starter who has already built up around them um, quite a bit, and they manage their pentacles. They have enough for themselves, and they have three to kind of give away, and they're willing to give. Um, they also have their hawk with them, if you can see that hawk. That is there to sit, show that they have foresight, that they're able to see out beyond what they're doing right now towards their plans in the future. And that's clarified by the Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. Hmm. There could be an energy around you Okay, yeah, okay, so I'm getting more so that you are attempting to sit in this energy because there's, I think there's some things around you that you're not very happy with. Um, people around you that are maybe uninspiring or are not, not even uninspiring, but are maybe discouraging of you and your dreams, your vision, the things that you want to do. And you're kind of sitting here saying like, look, I have built myself up. I should be able to, whether, you know, whether you, you've started like a little home business or you've even just completed a program that has helped you or whatever it is, you have built yourself some kind of stability. All right. And there's something around you that is of this kind of um, back turning, kind of sneaky, trying to get away with something sort of energy. Um, I don't feel that this is you. I don't feel like this is you lying to yourself. I'm getting this more so as something around you where you're not getting the acknowledgement of all the, the um, work that it's taken you to get into this Nine of Pentacles position. Because um, you've worked really hard. You've worked really hard and there's something around you that feels like it's just, I'm just getting like a lot of like, it's draining your energy to even interact with certain people and getting more and more uh, difficult to kind of keep them around. Okay. So we have, yeah, we have five of wands, fire sign energy being clarified by the death card which is Scorpio energy, could be related to a Scorpio around you. Um, what I'm getting from this is that there's a lot of transformation in your social circle. Something very, um, I think that the people that you were hanging out with, all of a sudden you're kind of like, maybe not even all of a sudden. No, yeah, not all of a sudden. You've been, you've been on something for a while here, Pisces. You've been working on yourself and your visions and the things that you want. Um, you're solidifying yourself. If you're not in this position yet, you're on your way. And this is your vision of who you want to be. And just the way, like, can you see how, not to go back to this, but like, can you see how she's sort of like looking down upon this person with this lying, cheating, stealing, like kind of attitude? 
like, yeah, I want to get ahead. I want to have it for myself, but I want it the right way. I want it my way. I want to hold my head up. I want to feel pride. Um, you know, and I don't want that pride to be misled. I don't want it to be about what did I get away with? I don't want that. I don't want that. I don't want that anymore. Um, you don't want it around you. You don't want to participate in it. None. So we have like all of this conflict, um, brewing around you in this major transformation. So what I'm feeling for this group is that there's, you are starting to, to recognize that there is a, an element to your social circle. Um, there are friendships and relationships and ties that you have with people that just are not, they're not vibrating on the same level as you anymore. Um, and it's just not, um, it's not helping you. It's not helping you to be around these people anymore. So something has to change. And now that change is kind of happening whether you like it to or not, you know. Um, it's really hard to resist death. It's really hard to resist the transformation that comes from something so powerful as a high art, this is a major arcana card, right? Um, so it's become ultimately clear to you that something here needs to change. There could also be, if it's not in your outer circle, Though I feel like for more of you it is, um, for some of you it could also be sort of inner conflict that you are trying to get away from. Uh, that there is maybe some self-doubt about whether or not you're ever going to get into this pentacles position, this sort of pre-empress energy um, that's sort of like g the gossip and sort of low vibration that's around you might be making it hard to believe that this is ever going to change. But... It, there is change. There's fundamental change coming in here for this group of Pisces. All right, so we have the Nine of Wands clarified by the Hierophant. Okay, so defensiveness, our wounded warrior. You've taken a lot of knocks. You have a lot of experience behind you, whether that experience is in relationships, romantic relationships, friendships, family ties, people from school, coworkers. Who knows? And then the Hierophant, which is this powerful major arcana energy which comes in and has to do with structures and institutions, has to do with... Okay, this combination of cards, and this, this might only be for a couple of you, um, the Hierophant can have to do with structures and institutions, and the Nine of Wands, for me, is ringing that for some of you, there could be something to do with especially because this is in, in, is in the challenge position, it's making me think of someone's life after incarceration or um, trying to find a new normal after that experience. If that's not, that's only probably for a couple of you, but um, that's something that just came. Uh, if it's not, that's not your, your story or something that you relate to, then I think that this has to do with looking back on your life experiences and trying to find a way to bring in um, something spiritual, something committed, something long-term and stable, um, whether this is a higher level commitment in a relationship, okay, or it's commitment to higher learning. It could be all kinds of things. Um, your story is going to be different, every single one of you. But there is the challenge, I think, is to find your um through all of your defensiveness because of the things that you are wading through at the moment because you have eight wands behind you there's five wands here right um some of those conflicts and life experiences and other things that are just making it feel like it's a bit much okay uh, some of you may be going on a spiritual journey you know because this the hierophant really uh, represents the Pope in the tarot. So for some of you, there could be a religious aspect as well. Okay. This is really nice, actually. So we have in the suggested course, two major arcanas. These are big, big ass energies. Okay. <laughs> They're huge. Um, we have the star, which is Aquarius energy and the hermit, which is Virgo. Now, I'd like you to notice how both of these figures 
are sort of by themselves doing their own thing. One of them is taking the dream with them. The hermit has in their little lantern there their star, their dream, their wish, their hope. And they're going to go somewhere quiet to reflect. They're going to really look at their life and at their beliefs, um, at their thought processes, at, at all of the things that a person needs to get where they want. And they're going to try to figure out how to get closer to that star, right? Right now they're, they've got it in a little lantern and they're taking it up into the cave to contemplate. And that's because their there's star is something that is a dream, something that brings them a renewed hope, renewed faith, something in them that is saying like, I don't have to be in the same place. This is only the middle of the journey, okay? <laughs> We're not at the end. This is all about mixing. This is the land and the water, giving one to the land and the water, being guided by your dreams, your hopes, and your faith. Um, the hermit is only number nine, right? So this is taking these dreams and letting yourself heal. Maybe you want to be included in the healing of others. Maybe you want to take the life experiences and the conflicts that you've had and you want to be able to guide other people, use your light to do work in the world. I'm not sure. Um, I feel like there's this very kind, grounded energy for the Pisces that this is speaking to and that that kindness has been hard won. Um, it's like you're not kind because you just came out that way. You're kind despite your life experiences. That's what I'm feeling, if this is re resonating for you. Um, in our wrapping up past yesterday energy, we have the Ten of Swords, which is air sign energy, and clarified by the Six of Wands. To me, this is incredibly hopeful. Okay, so the Ten of Swords, this is the end of a painful cycle. Painful. Lots of life lessons, but the sun is, is rising on the horizon. It's hard, it's hard to focus on this sunrise when you're in this position, okay? But life is starting anew. A cycle is starting anew. There is no Eleven of Swords. That's not an option. So whatever is done is done. Understand that and settle into it. It's done. It's over. It's in the past. Nobody has a time machine. We can't go change any of that. And then it's being clarified by the Six of Wands, which I think is wonderful because of all of the conflict that I was feeling down here with this Five of Wands, Six of Wands, this figure is coming into town after a hard-won battle and they have everyone looking at them and they're going, oh shit, Pisces did it. Look what they did. Look what they made of themselves. Look what they were able to achieve right? And this person is, yeah, they're riding in, sure, and they have one wand with them, that passion, that inspiration, okay? And then surrounding them are five wands. All the conflict, all the onlookers, all the naysayers, all the people who said no, all the people who said you can't have it, you won't do it, all of that. And now they're cheering them on because they have no choice, because look what you did, okay? Letting it, um, letting this cycle close out, recognizing that it's closed and done, holding yourself with pride in the things that you have accomplished, the personal growth that you have experienced, okay? And taking that with you, holding yourself um, in a respectable and honorable way and continuing on in positive, a positive direction. Oh, this is beautiful, okay. Then in our key to tomorrow, we have the Six of Swords, which is clarified by the Queen of Cups, which is water sign energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Oh my goodness, Pisces, this feels wonderful. So this just feels like to me, I wanna hold it up again, cause it's like the Six of Swords is all about moving on. It's all about going like, okay, these waters are too choppy. I don't like what's happening back here. I'm going to go off to Paradise Island. I'm taking the people that are the most important to me, the life experiences that have helped shape me and bring me to where I am today. And I'm going to, I'm going to take them somewhere better. I'm going to go somewhere better with this. 
all right? It can be literal moving. Some of you could be experiencing a move or planning a move. Maybe you have to get up out of a, a particular neighborhood. Maybe your, your living situation isn't good for you for the plans that you have for the future. But you're bringing yourself forward into your own power through doing this. Through whatever plans that you are making, this loyalty, this love, this... Um, like the Queen of Cups, she doesn't just go pouring her love all over everybody. She's not generous. She's not foolish with her generosity. The Queen of Cups, whether this is a male or female, Queen of Cups is all about knowing what you're worth and doling that love out to, to causes and to people and to things that are worthy because you've realized what you are worth. Okay. This is gorgeous. <laughs> like the transformation in this is like really beautiful. Cause I'm like, we're talking about the nine of pentacles, which is like the, the, the empress of the minor arcana. And then being in queen of cups energy, which is to me, that's just like moving, moving up, moving up to go from uh, like a noble person in a kingdom who has set them up to themselves up to be well to go into the energy of a queen and then eventually you know the all of the queens once someone has kind of experienced and mastered those fields all of them sort of merge together into the empress so um this is gorgeous you should be absolutely proud of yourself for how far you've come Okay, so we're getting one from Wisdom of the Oracle. This is the only card. Oh, wait. Let me just shuffle. I almost forgot what the other one's too. I want to see what's on the bottom of the decks. Let's see. Okay, and you have Temperance. Sagittarius energy. All about patience and mixing the cups. Yeah, and Five of Wands right underneath it. There's been so much conflict. Um, conflict and competition. And it feels like it's putting that to rest. Yeah, eight of pentacles, you're ready to put in the work. You're ready to move on. You're ready to get this stuff done. This is beautiful. All right. So for these Pisces in group two, Wisdom of the Oracle, please give me one card to help give guidance to wrap up the reading. Okay, and we got two again. We got two for the group, first group also. Okay. This feels perfect. For me as a reader, this feels perfect. Okay. I hope this feels good for you too. Please let me know. All right, so this card is called Deep Knowing. It's number 43. I'm going to hold it there, hopefully steadily. So it says, essential meanings, intuition, listening to the oracle within, emp empathy, also hypersensitivity. So it says, intuition is the faculty that allows you to enter into a dialogue with the source, the consciousness that you are a part of but cannot see without, with the naked eye. It's perplexing that people are taught to ignore this natural capacity to navigate their journeys, to access their inner guidance. Know that you have an ability to read between the lines and find all the truth that was missing when the story was told. This deep knowing allows you to open the door to wisdom far greater than what is available in the limitations of human experience. You are given information that may make no sense whatsoever to the logical mind or the five senses, but which is 100% correct and true. The trick is to listen and then to act accordingly. You're now invited into this sacred dialogue of deep knowing. So tune in and trust your vibes. They will be right. Ask you, ask, and you will receive answers from unusual sources. Okay, the relationship message says, there are occasions when you just know, deep in your heart and soul, that a person is going to play a meaningful role in your life. Someone crosses your path, and suddenly, out of the blue, you're connected at a level impossible to describe. That feeling marks a moment in time etched inedibly, in, indelibly onto your soul. Someone has entered your life who will be instrumental in your journey, so pay attention. Two hearts are calling to each other to begin an 
alchemical process. This is also a sign that your intuition about the person you care about is correct. Trust your heart to lead you now. Magic is about to happen. Okay. The prosperity message says, this is a time when your hunches will pay large dividends if you listen to them, take the risk, and act. Within you there is an oracle consciousness, a higher and deeper knowing that transcends the machinations of the smaller thinking mind. At the deep level of your intuitive senses, you have an access point to the genius of the collective, the energies of all thinkers and creators, all inventors and leaders, and all that you need in order to leap into success are available to tune into. This is an act of listening intently, past the busy mind. Your genius awaits beautiful and now let's do time to go number 45 <laughs> okay let's see if you can see that there i'm gonna rest my hand without the glare on it okay it says endings completion walking away from something because there is nothing else to learn or experience you are at the end of one journey and have not yet begun the next this is the moment to bless your experience thus far Take stock of what you've learned. It's time to move on to new experiences and a new way of being. There is nothing left for you to do, be, or experience in your present circumstances. Take the risk and move on, even if you need to be in transition for a time, because your destiny is calling you. Gorgeous. Okay, Pisces Group 2, I hope you enjoyed it. Please like um comment let me know if you like this kind of daily reading format i might not be able to do them every day but i could probably fit them in a couple times a week so please let me know and uh i would love to have your feedback like comment subscribe i would love to have you come around and i'll see you next time bye now hello pisces group three Okay, you chose the orange calcite and our two cards here. So let's see what your reading has for you today. Energy for today, we have a Knight of Swords, air sign energy. In today's theme, we have Temperance, Sagittarius energy. In a challenge position, we have the Emperor, which is Aries energy. In the suggested course, we have Four of Swords, air sign energy again. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. In our moving on from yesterday, we have Death and Scorpio energy. And then we have the Hierophant, which is Taurus energy. Okay, so... Four out of your six cards are higher arcana. <laughs> that means that you, I, I feel like this means that you are undergoing a major, a major kind of change. Something, something big is shifting for you here. And it isn't to do with, um, it has to do with the bigger picture. It really has to do with how you see the world, how you fit into the world, what's your purpose. Um, those kinds of things we have in, today's energy we have the knight of swords um this is a very determined very quick moving the fastest knight in the deck right this is when the knight of swords does something it's in minutes it's in hours it's like let's go let's go okay this sort of um high stakes uh energy that's sort of swirling around you at the moment okay as clarified by the three of swords so moving out, moving on, moving away from heartbreak is what I'm getting. For some of you, there could have been an air sign uh, in your recent in your recent past that caused you some kind of heartbreak that you are you're dealing with. You're trying to get you're trying to get away from. It was fast. It was um, sort of unpredictable. It came in, and it lit you up and then let you down um for others 
the Knight of Swords is you and you're running away from this. You're trying to get away from this feeling, this Three of Swords. You're trying to get away from that as fast as you can. And who blame, who could blame you, right? Blake. Um, I certainly don't. Okay, and then we have Temperance being clarified by the Page of Swords. Temperance is all about balance, finding balance, mixing the cups between um, positivity and negativity, uh, finding balance between worlds, between uh, f kinds of faith, between belief, between um, these, it's higher level balance. It isn't just patience. Like a lot of the time people are like, temperance, mm, have patience. And I'm like, it, this is bigger than that usually. And especially that it's in the theme. Uh, Page of Swords. This is a really studious person. This is someone who is observing, who is uh, watching and observing everyone around them. Could be uh, someone or yourself spending a lot of time on social media, observing other people, observing perhaps this Knight of Swords um, person. Whoever or whatever was responsible for this heartache, whether it's a person in particular, a job, or uh, some kind of loss, all right? doesn't have to be romantic. You could have experienced some kind of, of loss around you that is heartbreaking. It's the kind of uh, pain that just kind of stops you in your tracks and you're like, it takes a while to work through. Um, okay, so... Our Page of Swords. I find it interesting that Page of Swords is looking at the Four of Swords here. Okay, we'll see what comes up. Okay, so clarifying the Emperor, we have another major arcana. We have the Star. This is in the challenge position. All right, so it could be someone around you that is stubborn, uh, who is very controlling, who who kind of sits up on their high horse like they have a whole empire to run. Um, they like to dictate from their throne, sort of closed off, not necessarily someone who gives a lot of love. Um, and I think that there's a lot of challenge to have hope and to have faith. Uh, the star is all about healing, hope, faith, and renewal. And something about this emperor energy, this very structured, very um, sort of domineering when it's in a negative phase. Uh, it's feeling more like that kind of of Aries Emperor energy, mature. Um, it's causing you to have some, have a slip as far as faith goes. Like, this, it's hard. I'm holding on, right? I'm running, but I'm also, I might be distracting myself. I might be uh, short with people, wanting to take things out on people, wanting to think about ways to get back at people. Um, you know, if it's a breakup, you might be looking at someone's social media and, you know, being like, one of these days they're going to get hit by a bus. Come on now. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tough spot. We've all been, I think everybody's been there. It sucks. If this has to do with some sort of business partnership, um, there's a real lack of, like, your heart's not in whatever you do, and you want out. You want out. You're done with it. So the tough part is doing the research and having the patience to put yourself in the proper position so that you can move more easily and more quickly. Because you could have a domineering boss, and it feels like they just suck the soul right out of you. The way that it is in, yeah where you are in the workplace, it's kind of hard to have hope and to have faith and to understand that, you know, you found yourself in a certain position. In the Four of Swords, so this is in our suggested course, you have Queen of Swords. Okay, so there's lots of air energy in this reading for you, Pisces, Group 3. Um, so Four of Swords is a suggested course, is really saying, let yourself rest, okay? Be patient with yourself. Put your swords down and think about what you want, where you want to be, how you want to do things, how you're going to go about this going forward. Let yourself heal a little bit and, and rejuvenate. And once you wake up, because the Four of Swords always has this fourth sword depicted underneath them here, 
the whole thing is like they are dreaming. They're dreaming about receiving blessings. They're dreaming about receiving what they want in life and about the path, the path that they're going to go when they wake up. And then once they wake up, they're going to use that sword and cut away everything that no longer works for them. This is a, is a guidance that is saying, okay, let yourself rest and rejuvenate so that when you wake up, you can be the queen of swords. You can be in this energy where you can, with fairness, with confidence, cut away all the stuff that doesn't hurt you. Now, the queen of swords is often gets some flack for being kind of cold and detached. The thing with the queen of swords is that she is not cold and detached because she is a cold and detached person at her heart. She has learned to control the way that she appears to people. Because if you give too much, you know that you give an inch, they take a mile. Often we encounter people like that. This is someone who has come through the ranks of that kind of feeling, who has given their all to something or someone, all right? Whether it's your job or a relationship or a series of relationships or a series of jobs. This is someone who has learned that if you give too much right off the hop, like, Yes, you may approach, right? Her hand is out. You may, you may approach. Give me your proposal. What is it that you wish to do? And it doesn't mean that inside they don't feel. It doesn't mean that they don't love. It doesn't mean that they don't have passion. It means that they've learned to protect themselves, okay? These are large energies at play. So rest up, get yourself together, and then you're going to be able to make the moves that you need to do. Okay, then we have, in our wrapping up yesterday, we have, let's see if I can get this square, so we have the death card, it's a really interesting death card, and, you know, the real transformation and rebirth, and then we have the seven of wands, which is fire sign energy, Scorpio energy, and fire sign energy. Um, so definitely going through a major transformation and this is a little bit more than just like oh you might have to move jobs oh you might have to you know drive a little farther across town to achieve the ends that you want to meet this is something very fundamental for you that is transforming at this time and it feels uh uncomfortable you feel brand new you feel like you're you're sort of in the world trying to figure out how it all works again maybe something about the connections and the the work you were doing the people you were around maybe something about it let you down you you had great hope you had great faith but something about it let you down and you're realizing there's a whole other way of being and doing that i want to go for and it's just kind of happening on a big scale and then we have the seven of wands all right which is all about Defending your position. Um, to wrap up yesterday, what I'm feeling is that it's going to be important for you to defend your right to change, to go through this transformation. Because these are all, these. you have a lot of major arcana. This is, is big energy, okay? This is... You have every right to go through this. You have every right to take your time to rest up to get it going. People may not understand it, you know, whether it's lovers, uh, partners, husbands, wives, business partners, friends, whatever. They may not get it, you know, <laughs> neighbors, who knows? Who knows who's in your life um, that you feel you have to defend yourself from? But you are defending yourself. You're standing your ground. And it's like, like the way that this is hitting me is like, no, this is changing and I deserve this and I need it. Like, get back off my transformation, right? This is mine. This is not yours. Don't try to like piggyback off of, off of my, um, my hard work. You know, this is, this is for you. This is something that is large and fundamental uh, to how you view the world and how you operate. Uh, we also have in the moving into tomorrow, we have the higher fence. Okay, so that's hardcore Aries energy and clarified by the Six of Swords. So moving forward, um, air sign energy and earth energy. 
so much air in this Pisces my goodness okay I want to look at the bottoms of the decks I have a scene yeah you have death again all right so major transformation I'll pull that for you you want to see death and then at the bottom of the main deck beautiful okay so we have the three of cups which is all about friendship rejoicing joy collaboration getting together having fun <sighs> oh pisces i think that this is trying to tell you to have fun with it to have fun with your friends to lean into that because you know you may be moving away from um, structures traditions from things that um you know the hierophant to me can sometimes speak about like what we're expected to do um having those rules and traditions and it makes me think sometimes like not every time but of like the life path that people are expected to take so if we're talking about like in a religious sense like okay so maybe you're supposed to grow up a certain way get certain uh, certain attitudes then you're supposed to you know, I don't know, get baptized, then you're supposed to move on to the next thing, then you're supposed to be this kind of person in the con congregation, then you're supposed to do whatever, or in school, like, you're supposed to go through high school, graduate, and do the things, then you're supposed to go into university or college, then you're supposed to do this other thing, in relationships, you start off dating, you know, you're supposed to want a partner, you're supposed to want it to be like this, <laughs> you know what I mean, and this is making me feel like, um, whatever transformation that you're experiencing is having you move away from the structure of those things. Now, it could also have to do like um, moving out of a commitment, moving out of a feeling of commitment. Um, it could also have to do with um, moving into higher learning, okay? Or going into a time of sort of self-reflection where you're thinking about um, the institutions that you want to take part in that may have... Uh, like universities, colleges, online courses, whatever, that you're going to use to try to help get yourself where you want to be. Because I think there's a lot of research going on because you feel a real need to move on. And then, yeah, we have them again. Okay, so for a couple of you, there could be Page of Swords, right? So someone's hardcore researching here. This could be you, could be another person. And then we have the Three of Cups. So for a couple, it might ring that there was this heartbreak maybe associated with um, too many people being involved in a situation and the need to move on from it, to recoup and rest and then transform and defend your position. Um, for others, this, I believe, if this is not uh, applicable to a relationship, then I think that this is just telling you to spend time with the good people around you the people that make you feel like you're having fun that make you want to like don't go numbing yourself like all the time but there's nothing wrong with taking your best friends and going to margaritaville you know like um be safe you know whatever the ron is for real but um try to bring some joy and some celebration and some um some lightheartedness into this because you've got a lot of heavy energies going on it's a lot a lot changing for you right now pisces okay so now i'm gonna shuffle and get a card from the wisdom of the oracle